Imagine harnessing free energy required to charge our phones, supply electricity to our home devices, or even charge our electric vehicles, all seemingly out of cold air. It might sound like the stuff of Nikola Tesla's century-old wireless power dreams, but here's the exciting twist. Recent researchers at the University of Massachusetts Amherst have accidentally stumbled upon a groundbreaking discovery that aligns with this concept. Their breakthrough revolves around transforming humidity into a tangible source of electricity, a phenomenon aptly termed hydroelectrical power. So, you're probably wondering, what exactly is hydroelectrical power and how does it function? Nikola Tesla, the Serbian inventor from the early 20th century, envisioned the possibility of extracting abundant free electricity from the atmosphere. He conceived an ambitious idea of considering the Earth and upper atmosphere as a massive battery. While Tesla's grand vision remained unrealized, contemporary researchers are rekindling the prospect of harnessing electricity from the air, a concept known as hydroelectricity. However, they are taking a different approach, a team at the University of Massachusetts, UMass. Amherst published a surprising discovery. While originally working on a humidity sensor, they inadvertently generated a small but continuous electric current from the moisture in the air. Their device consisted of microscopic tubes called nanowires, each narrower than a human hair. As water molecules entered and bumped around inside these tubes, they generated small electrical charges, creating a kind of miniature battery. For their recent research, the UMass Amherst team shifted their focus to materials with nanopores, resulting in a tiny device capable of producing around one microwatt, sufficient to illuminate a single pixel on a large LED screen. To power larger displays or even entire homes, they propose stacking multiple layers of these devices in vertical space. Another team is pursuing a similar goal through the Lisbon-based Catcher project. They are attempting to convert atmospheric humidity into renewable power and have established a startup to commercialize their research. While they initially faced skepticism, they have made significant progress, with one of their devices generating 1.5 volts and 10 milliamps. A cluster of 20,000 such devices could provide the daily energy needs of an average UK household, and they plan to showcase a prototype by 2024. The concept of generating electricity from the air may appear too good to be true, but experts at Oxford University express optimism provided that engineering and scalability challenges can be overcome. Preventing contamination by atmospheric microbes is seen as a solvable issue. However, there are substantial hurdles ahead. The materials used for these devices differ between the UMass Amherst and Ketcher projects, and scaling up production remains a long-term endeavor. If successful, hydroelectric generators offer numerous advantages as they can operate day and night, indoors and outdoors, and may even lead to the development of construction materials that generate their own power. While Tesla's dream of limitless electricity from the air remains a distant prospect, researchers find reasons for optimism in the vast energy stored in water molecules within the atmosphere. The key challenge lies in devising effective collection methods. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this information valuable, Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on renewable energy.